Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Maven tutorial for beginners. In the last three videos, we have seen how we can download and install Maven on our Windows operating system and how we can create our first Maven project using command line or command prompt. Now, most of the times, Java developers uses some kind of IDE to create Maven project. There are few uh, Maven IDEs popular uh, nowadays which are Eclipse, NetBeans or IntelliJ. Now I'm going to use Eclipse IDE which already comes with integrated Maven uh, you know, environment. So we don't need to uh, install any extra plugin for uh, you know, creating our Maven project and it's also one of the most popular IDEs for Java developers. Now if you don't know how to install uh, Eclipse I'm going to uh, paste a link for the video in which I have shown uh, how we can download and install Eclipse for developing Java. So if you don't know just click that link and you will be good to go. Now let's create our first Maven project using Eclipse IDE and then we are going to uh, see the details of uh, POM XML. So just to open your Eclipse IDE and then go to files here. For the first time whenever you you know see this uh, Eclipse IDE it's going to show you this kind of a welcome message and you can click this uh, left top button here to uh, you know see the Eclipse environment and you can close it something like this. Now in order to create a Maven project you can go to files here or file here and then go to new project. Don't choose Java project but uh, just choose project and in here just search for Maven or you can scroll down and you will be able to see this category called Maven. And in this uh, Maven category, we have this Maven project. Okay, so just select Maven project and click next. And for now, we are going to create the simple uh, project and uh, we are going to skip archetype. That's the same thing we have done uh, last time. We have created the simple Java project without any web application, right? So just select this uh, checkbox and leave uh, this checkbox as it is okay so these checkbox must be checked and the third should not be checked okay and then click next and in here once again it's going to ask us for the group ID artifact ID version packaging as we have already seen in the last video what is group ID and what is artifact ID right so I'm going to just give uh, the group ID com dot code bind and the artifact ID for example maven demo okay the version is uh, good for us which is 0.0.1 .0 snapshot because we are developing this project right now and it's in, in development phase and packaging is jar and uh, leave everything as default and just click finish here. Now Eclipse is going to create this Maven project for us in a few seconds. You can see this Maven demo project is created and inside this uh, Maven demo project we have uh, some uh, you know packages here. So there are four packages you can see here. The first two are for your uh, project files. For example, this uh, source slash main slash Java is for your source file. And then you have the source slash main slash resources. And this will contain the resources for your uh, Java project, right? Resources like maybe some uh, pictures or some other uh, kind of resources, some XML files or, you know, it can be anything. Now, the other two are for the test, uh, you know, whenever we create uh, some uh, Maven project, it's also creating uh, the test, uh, you know, environment for us, right? So the third is source slash test slash Java and it's going to contain your test source files, right? 
and the fourth is uh, source slash uh, test slash resources and it's going to contain the resources for your test okay and the folder structure is something like this so if you see inside our source folder we have a, a main directory and a test directory and we also have this pom.xml file now let's open this pom.xml file so just uh, click on it or double click it and it's going to open this pom.xml and it's going to show you uh, this kind of overview uh, for pom.xml now to see uh, this pom.xml in the xml format you can go here and select this last option which says pom.xml and we will see this pom.xml in the normal uh, you know xml format and inside this you can uh, see these four uh, elements here first is the group id which we have uh, given second is the artifact id which we have given already and third is the version which we have given so this pom.xml contains the information of the project which we are working on and it uses this uh, group id artifact id and version for that okay now let's create a class sample class uh, to uh, you know understand how this maven uh, project works better so i will uh, just select my source slash uh, main slash uh, java package here and i will right click on it and then i will uh, just go to new and i'm going to create a new class here and in here i'm going to give the package name same as I have already given so com dot code bind and the name of the class for example I'm going to name it as app okay and everything else I'm going to leave it as default and I'm going to just click finish and it's going to create this uh, app dot Java class in my com dot uh, code bind package here okay now to just uh, take the look at this project we are going to just create a very simple method inside this class so just write uh, public and for example it's going to return a string and we uh, can name our method as sample for example and just uh, give these round bracket which takes no arguments and we are going to return some dummy values so just write return and let's say we are returning a sample for example this sample string okay so it's not a really complicated uh, you know method we are creating here we just want to understand how maven works that's why we have just created this uh, you know placeholder kind of uh, method here okay now uh, for creating the test case for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to source slash test slash java this is the third uh, package here right and i'm going to right click here and go to new and this time i'm going to go to the others category here so go to other and in the other i will be able to find uh, this category called j unit okay so this is the j unit uh, category and we will uh, just create a j unit test case for our uh, project so just select this j unit test case and click next and uh, just uh, leave this as a default and in here we will give the package name same as uh, we have given earlier so just com dot code bind and uh, then the name of our uh, test will be for example app test okay and then click uh, finish here and it's going to ask you uh, this uh, you know information it says j unit 4 is not on the build path do you want to add it so for now we don't want to add anything and why i'm going to explain you in some moment right so just say not now and then click ok and now uh, you can see our uh, app test.java class is created with this sample test 
and if you can see here it's showing us a bunch of errors so why we are seeing these errors here because we don't have junit jar file in our dependency paths or build paths you can say so in normal cases whenever we are not using maven as our build management system in normal cases what a developer will do is it's he's going to download this jar file and add it to uh, the build path for the j unit right and then uh, these errors can be gone right but maven allows us to add the dependency uh, in our pom.xml file so that uh, this dependency will be automatically downloaded and added to your project and let's see how we can do this so you can see these are some errors so to remove uh, these errors what we can do is we can uh, just go to our pom.xml file here and in here just below this version element we are going to add a element called dependency okay so just write dependencies and then inside this dependencies element we need to add the dependencies for the j unit because our project requires this j unit jar file to compile our tests now maven has this online repository from where it can download all the dependencies which we can mention here but what uh, are the things we have to mention here so for uh, simplicity just go to your browser and search for maven j unit dependency okay so just search for maven j unit dependency and click search and the first uh, result you will see here will be from maven or mvn repository dot com slash artifact slash j unit slash j unit so just click this uh, link here and in here you can see all the you know maven uh, you know files or jar files uh, depending on the version of this and the top one is the latest version of uh, this uh, j unit release right so just click this top version which says release and in here we can see the dependency for this uh, j unit so this is the simple way of searching the dependency for any uh, you know jar file or any framework okay so simply just search for uh, the maven and then the kind of uh, you know dependency you are looking for for example j unit and then search for uh, maven uh, j unit dependency and you can uh, search for its dependencies something like this so just copy uh, this dependency from here and go to your uh, pom.xml file and paste it here okay and what this dependency uh, contain it's also containing the group id so this j unit uh, you know framework whenever it's created uh, j unit people has given it some uh, you know group id artifact id and the version we are using okay and as soon as uh, you will hit save here just observe what uh, is going on in here it's going to add uh, all the jar files which is uh, j unit uh, jar file version 14.12 for you automatically okay so i'm going to just click save and whenever i click save you can see uh, it has downloaded this maven dependency for us and inside this maven dependency we have the j unit 4.12 uh, jar file inside uh, this maven dependency and this happened due to uh, the addition of uh, these dependencies which we have added for j unit and now when we go to our app test.java class you will see all the errors will go related to uh, you know j unit jar files right so once again we can uh, do this so i'm going to remove these dependencies and uh, when i click save here see what happens here so i'm going to click save 
and now all the maven dependencies are removed from our project and once again when we go to our app test.java class it's going to once again give us these errors okay so once again add these dependencies here and click save and it's going to download all the dependencies and add it in the project okay so this is how you can create your first maven project inside your eclipse ide and this is how these dependencies work in maven so that's it for this video we are going to see some more features in the later videos so stay tuned and please write comment and subscribe and bye for now